We're going to run down making a clean copy of a Pro Tools session for export, for uploading, for whatever you need to do. When you want to just reduce the size, get it on a disk, upload it, or just put it in a smaller size for storage because you know what you got, you put the record out, now you just want the masters. Or you need to send it to someone to do an overdub, or to someone to mix. Here we're going to take a typical session. Let's take a look at the size and note. This particular session is 2.5 gigs. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty standard for one song. It's actually a little bloated, but there have been a lot of overdubs. It's been sent around. Things have been imported. So let's launch the session and make it run make it play get past any of the other things that may be bugging you about it uh, as far as the which tracks are there now you'll note that I have uh, some uh, tracks that I've already added here that um, are not in the audio files folder they are uh, external to the audio files folder and that was intentional because uh, often you'll get into a situation where you'll be moving files and folders around on a, on a long session copying from disk to disk and occasionally you'll get some things that are reading from another folder and not the current audio file that's near and that's connected to the playlist you're using right now. Let's go to the finder here you see the audio files here, those uh, extra files are not in here. And I'll show you those files in a minute. They're the folder outside of audio folder of session, and that's where these live. And you can see there, these names, these guys here, don't live in the audio files folder um, of the Pro Tools session. By the way, there are a lot of files in here that probably don't need to be here. Uh, ver versions of overdubs, every overdub that was ever done, every um, bleep, squawk, and fart, as they used to say at CBS Records. So um, we're going to really condense thing down, and believe it or not, we can get this session down to less than half a gigabyte zipped. That's right, 2.5 down to less than half a gigabyte. Okay, here's how we do it. First of all, we save what we got in situ, in, these, we do, in, the, in case we need to start over again. And we don't touch this file, we don't touch, we keep all the stuff in case there's like some magical overdub that needs to be rediscovered. We save a copy in this, not save as, not save as template, save a copy in, okay? And we're gonna use everything that we've already got, the current, uh, session format uh, if you want it to be different if you want to downscale from 96 this is the time to do it but we're making a copy so that everything we do after here will be non-destructive so to speak we want to copy audio files we want to copy if this is if you're done with overdubs and you're sending this off to the guy who's mixing uh, and you don't want the other playlists to show up and say main playlist only. If you're doing only selected tracks, you could make one to spin out to somebody else with just certain tracks. Uh, if you want to keep the plug-in settings, uh, any of this stuff, movie files. Do not check this. Leaving this last checkbox unchecked will put everything into the audio files folder. We're going to find a place to, uh, to, to save it, copy, it, copy of, it already renames it for you in case you're at the same level as the other one, and let it go. Okay, we're back. The files have been copied. We're uh, now going to close out the original 
and uh, put it away for now and not touch it. Nothing's been destroyed, nothing's been cleaned or erased yet. Now we're going to check the size of the copy we just made. And it should be the uh, same, but actually, uh, because of the uh, method of copying, it looks like we uh, took out the playlists, the extra playlists, and uh, that may have reduced the size a little bit. Uh, well, regardless, our choices and um, have uh, shown that we have reduced the size to 1.7 from 2.5. So let's start up this session now. All right, let's go look for things to remove. Here we have some hidden tracks. You want to select all hidden tracks. Try not to hit the Enable button on the side. Shift click to get multiple. And then when you want to skip one, you go to Command click, or if you need to unselect one, you mistakenly selected command click. All right. Now we go in here and to track I'm going to delete all these tracks. There are active clips here, yes, and yes, we still want to delete. They're active only in the sense that uh they they are ready to be used. They don't play in the current session. There should be a change Let's look at the size currently. It may not have changed that much. No, that's still the same because even though we deleted the hidden tracks, the clips remain in the clip bin. If you go over to the clips window, you can select unused. There's a whole bunch of files that can be deleted here. All right. So we clear these and permanently delete from the disk and hold down option as you click delete save now we're going to look at the finder again and see what the size is we're down to a gigabyte all right now we're going to do one more thing here on the side on the clips window we're going to select all and we're going to compact. This last step removes everything we don't need in the session. Okay, we're back. It's compacted. Let's go to the finder and see how much we've saved now. It's down to 745 megabytes from 2.5 gigs. Well, that's that's pretty cool. And we can even go further here by zipping this and even getting getting more savings. Compressing now. And as it's smaller, the compressing even takes less time. In this case, less than a minute. And we'll check the size of this zipped file, the copy of right here. And it's 393,000 gigabytes. And so that's how you do it. Make your sessions smaller and save bandwidth and storage space. Mixed.